Welcome to Opinion Journal. I'm Mary Kissel. Nelson Mandela passed away on Thursday at the age of 95, and South Africans, world leaders, freedom-loving people around the world are remembering him today. Uh, here to have a conversation about Mandela and his legacy is Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan. Uh, Peggy, uh, Nelson Mandela was such a towering figure. Uh, when you think about him and his life, uh, what was his greatest legacy? What does he leave to the world? Well, gosh, there's so much to say. I mean, he had a life of 95 years. It was crammed with action and passion and changes of mind and natural leadership and then a great George Washington-like breakthrough for his nation. So my goodness, uh, what a story. I do find myself thinking two things. One is that, you know, when at the end of the day, some of them talk the talk and some of them walk the walk. When you suffer 27 years in prison with the objective of adding to the possibility of freedom for your country, you are walking the walk as few in history and almost none in politics ever do. Second point is I would hope young, while we're celebrating Mandela over the next 10 days or so, I would hope young political figures would look at his political leadership and realize this was a man whose project, project was his nation. His project was South Africa. If that is so, if your project is really about something bigger than you, then you can suffer any number of indignities and imprisonment in order to help the thing that is bigger than you, your nation. He was not about the Nelson Mandela project. It was not just about him. Right. My goodness, if it had just been just about him, he would have gotten himself out of jail real quick. <laughs> do you know what I mean? And been uh, running around and trying other ways. So the selflessness of his leadership is profound and an example. It, this pope, interestingly enough, Pope Francis, continually says one thing. It's very Jesuitical. It is leadership is service. If you are a servant, you are leading. That is what Mandela shows us politically. Peggy, do you think that Nelson Mandela was a great man of history, that single person who changed the course of history? Or was he really a product of his time? He, he, uh, he emerged from jail at a time um, when uh, people were ready for this kind of change. Yeah, that's true. And that's always actually you're touching on a great philosophical debate. Part of what you're touching on is great man theory, you know? Uh, Carlyle and does the great man simply come and change everything or must the right historical forces surround him? You can argue it either way, but I'll tell you, when you look at South Africa now, I think you find very few ways it could have wound up peaceful, democratic, becoming day by day whole again without that indispensable man. Declarations columnist Peggy Noonan, thank you so much. Thank you.